Johnson County's Judge Executive Mark McKenzie accepted millions in state funding for a shared path in the city of Paintsville, a project that can now move forward into planning and execution stages. Residents will have a secure, well-lit route that connects them to key places of commerce and medical services in our community. This shared use path is more than just a convenience. It's a vitally important improvement to our safety and quality of life for our residents, for our children walking to and from school, for our families enjoying outdoors, and for those who commute to work on foot or by bike, this project will have a lasting impact for them as well. Journey into the extraordinary hideaway novelties, smoke and vape, the finest selection of vapes, glass, edible, and more, Cole Run Caney and South Williamson. The funding was awarded to McKenzie during a Team Kentucky update in Frankfurt when Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir presented a check to McKenzie for $4.7 million. And it's been incredible, especially these, these past uh, eight or nine months to travel around Kentucky and to see the optimism and the excitement. You now it feels like there's a veil of pessimism hanging over our country, but that's not where we are in the Commonwealth. Everybody trying to come up with the best projects to move our people ahead. We appreciate uh, your leadership. The shared pathway will exist along the part of Kentucky 321 that includes both Apple Tree Plaza and Mayo Plaza and will offer a path that pedestrians, cyclists, and those with mobility issues can travel more safely. The investment in this project will make Paintsville and Johnson County a safer, healthier, and more connected place to live, work, and learn. And we're ready to move forward, and we're excited for the future, and we're grateful for this opportunity to make such a meaningful experience, meaningful difference, and experience in our community. Thank you. The path will be approximately a mile long and eight feet wide, complete with lighting, and will see numerous areas of the city connected, including Paul B. Hall Medical Center, retail businesses, and residential areas, as well as schools. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Cumpton.